The 110 year prison sentence for the driver of that runaway truck that crashed, killing four people. That is one of the most closely watched, closely scrutinized sentences in Colorado in recent years. Today we learned that prosecutors celebrated putting him away for life by making a trophy out of a truck break. We learned about this because the prosecutor bragged about her trophy on Facebook. Pretty brazen gloating over a trial as millions of people have now signed a petition asking the governor to reduce the truck driver's sentence. You're Steve Sager. I thought, oh no, social media again. That is very likely what the first judicial district attorney, Alexis King, thought too when she was first confronted with this new PR problem. Her lead prosecutor on the Rojal Aguilera Medeiros case posting on social media thanking her fellow deputy district attorney for giving her this trophy. Quote, he turned a brake shoe from a semi truck into a memento, prosecutor Kayla Wildman wrote. What a special gift from a truly special person. I never asked for a new BFF at work, let alone one that is old enough to be my father. No offense, laughy face, but sure am grateful this trial brought you into my career. The makeshift trophy includes a plaque with the words power move attached to the brake shoe. You can go home and have a quiet celebration, but this was in poor taste. Former Denver Chief Deputy District Attorney Craig Silverman agrees with DA Alexis King, who also said this post and the trophy were in poor taste. Tim Patrick scored a big touchdown in the Broncos game, then he got a taunting flag. Should he have done that? No, he should not. And as it turned out, it led to the other team scoring right away. It's a mistake. It happens especially with people who aren't in the end zone that much. It's, it's a very inhumane way for a prosecutor to view her job. Defense attorney David Lane says the Post says a lot about Wildman's profession. Too many prosecutors view their jobs as uh, gamesmanship. It's a game, it's a contest. If you win, it doesn't matter what the human cost is. DA Alexis King didn't say very much about this today, only that she's handling the matter internally. I think this is bad. I don't think it's a firing offense, but it's a cautionary tale about social media and uh, people who do trials. Aguilera Medeiros was sentenced last week to 110 years in prison. It's a sentence that's gotten a lot of scrutiny. Four and a half million people have signed a petition asking the governor to commute his sentence. DA Alexis King said in a statement that she would welcome a reconsideration of the prison term, which is actually a lot like what Craig Silverman was talking about there. He says there's a lot of fuss about this right now, but he sees the DA stepping in and acknowledging the fact that this is an excessive sentence and going into that reconsideration phase mm -hmm. and fighting to try to bring this down. She has made the statement that she's open to reconsidering the sentence. I think people get that folks in difficult professions often deal with some type of gallows humor around the office to make light of some of the tough stuff they see. That said, there are also ethical requirements for people like law enforcement officers and prosecutors. I mean, we think back to what happened in Aurora where we had those police officers go back to the scene and, and, and mock what happened there. Yeah. Uh, and, and that led to serious repercussions. And in this case, it was more of a, this is a fellow colleague giving me something to acknowledge my work in this job. It, the break shoe part of it may not have entered into her mind when she posted this on social media, uh, but obviously it sends a really strong message and when it gets out there publicly, it's yet another reason why social media yeah. Uh, can, can do this kind of out thing. there publicly because she bragged about it publicly. Somebody didn't yet yeah, take a surreptitious photo. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Steve.